Wednesday morning. This video is coming to you from Nature Bats Last at GuyMcPherson.com. On Wednesday, July 28th, 2021. This video, this science update, is based on my blog post from Monday, July 26th, 2021. It too is found at GuyMcPherson.com and it is titled, Open Letter to the World, Please Share Widely. Please share this video widely as well. This blog post begins with a quote from Marcus Aurelius. Quote, you can also promote injustice by doing nothing. End quote. I'm not a fan of doing nothing. Bear in mind that the mere reflection framework is not a silver bullet. Mirrors do not present us with a silver bullet. Instead, the mere reflection framework includes mirrors as part of the framework, part of the relatively complex set of living arrangements and behaviors we will need to adopt if we are to survive the ongoing mass extinction event. The abbreviated version of the blog post at GuyMcPherson.com continues as follows with an emphasis on the urgency of our present situation. First and foremost, please join me in supporting the Mere Reflection Framework, found at merereflection.com. To do so is not to promote hope. Rather, it is to promote action, the opposite of hope. The blog post includes a link from the Merriam-Webster online dictionary to describe what hope actually is. This isn't it. Failure to implement this framework as quickly as possible will lead to loss of habitat for all life on Earth, including human life. This conclusion is firmly rooted in evidence published in the conservative peer-reviewed literature, as I discuss in this video. The most important brief overview regarding human extinction by 2026 involves the loss of Arctic sea ice in 2021, I include a link, or perhaps as late as 2022 or 2023. I include another link. The very rapid rate of climate change in the wake of an ice-free Arctic Ocean, and therefore the very rapid rate of environmental change, ensures little, if any, life on Earth will persist. The ongoing mass extinction event has been underway for more than 10 years. The United Nations Environment Program reported in August of 2010 that we were driving an estimated 150 to 200 species to extinction every single day. I included a link here as well, and all information from here forward includes links to peer-reviewed papers. The stunningly rapid ongoing and projected rates of environmental change indicate that neither vertebrates nor mammals will survive. Humans, of course, are vertebrate mammals. Our future looks bleak and short, and it's not merely our own species headed for extinction. Due to the ongoing rapid rate of change, the loss of aerosol masking when humans go extinct, and the catastrophic meltdown of the world's nuclear facilities as we leave a mess in our wake. All that tells me that we have great potential for destroying all life on Earth. It seems we are committed to taking all life on Earth with us when we go. Earth is already losing habitat for human animals around the world, a paper by Colin Raymond and colleagues published in Science on May 8, 2020, concluded that Earth has surpassed lethal wet bulb temperatures in various regions around the globe. Biologists Strona and Bradshaw found that a 5 to 6 degree Celsius global average rise in temperature would cause the extinction of all life on Earth. Their paper was published November 13, 2018 in Scientific Reports and was titled Coextinctions Annihilate Planetary Life During Extreme Environmental Change. The paper includes the following information. Quote, in a simplified view, the idea of co-extinction reduces to the obvious conclusion that a consumer cannot survive without its resources. The removal of resources could result in the cascading, bottom-up extinction of several higher-level consumers. End quote. There are additional means by which we could lose all life on Earth, as I have described at the Nature Bats last blog at GuyMcPherson.com. I have also described these means of extinction with a series of videos on YouTube under the category Means of Extinction. In short, I know exactly one means by which we might preserve life on Earth, even for humans. It is the mere reflection framework. 
it's no silver bullet. It will require significant behavioral changes by humans in addition to the implementation of physical facilities. That said, I would much rather support this strategy, the mere reflection framework, than turn Earth into a lifeless rock. Will you please join me? Thank you.